had to sleep there all night long. And mm -hmm. it was crazy cold mm -hmm. inside there. She said it was just miserable. Can you imagine if you didn't pack a blanket or anything and you're just sitting there yeah. trying to survive all night I long? I can't imagine the frustration and like the desperation yeah. of thinking like, am I really going to stay here all night long? And folks were telling us they were looking for an Uber to get somewhere. Mm -hmm. Could but get they, one. they were like hundreds of dollars because mm -hmm. the Uber drivers didn't want to get out in this, mm -hmm. you know, weather either. Yeah. And then the hotels, I mean, everybody is having the same issue mm -hmm. at the airport. So the hotels that are nearby, they're full from what they were telling Shelby. And then when we saw her during the nine o'clock hour, the TSA line was wrapped around oh. the entire yeah. terminal, yeah. like the entire terminal. Let's go to her now uh, with an update. How's everything looking out there now, Shelby? Have, have things cleared up or is it still <laughs> about the same? No, it got exponentially worse. Oh, like, no. let, let me preface by saying I've done Thanksgiving travel. I've done Christmas travel. I've done the Southwest meltdown. It has never been more chaotic that I have ever seen right now. So we have both TSA lines open now, but that opened up maybe about, you know, 15 ish minutes ago. But before that, only one was open. And when I was on at nine o'clock this morning, it only was wrapped around once. It was wrapped around, I swear, three times. And when they opened up that second TSA line, I felt like it was Black Friday when I say people were sprinting to TSA to try to get a better spot in line because the line to the other one was so obnoxiously long. But I mean, I've been checking FlightAware all morning long, and the number of cancellations here at Bush has just been growing by the hour. You know, I've been reporting throughout the morning that it was a little bit under 150, then it got over 150. Right now, it's at 201, and the delays are at 161. Now, when speaking to a few people that were in line in this TSA, they were telling us that they were a part of that group that was canceled yesterday, the hundreds of flights that were canceled yesterday, and they got a hotel. Thankfully, they're one of the lucky ones, I guess, got the hotel and came here to this absolute madness. It does seem to be dissipating actually a little bit better now in the last like five minutes or so. So that is good news, but it was absolutely chaotic here just about 15 minutes ago. So if you are heading to the airport, have some patience. Hopefully this does alleviate now the other one's open, but it is it is wild. That sounds miserable, Shelby. I can't stand it. Now, earlier, you were telling us it was really uncomfortably cold in the airport. Do you know what's up with that? That sounds really even more miserable for everybody. I mean, it's why I'm wearing a parka inside. It is yeah. for rigid. My hands have been cold. My nose has been runny. Like people have been with their big coats on, their big blankets. Um, I think you can see a few people with their big parkas on still as we're inside. I don't have an exact reason why it is so cold in here. Obviously, we do have sliding doors that will bring that cold air in, and we have felt the air conditioning, actually. The only thing that I could guess, and again, this is purely speculation, that it has to do with the conservation of energy with ERCOT I do feel like if they blast the heat in here then that's going to suck up a lot of energy mm -hmm. but again that's just pure speculation but it is it is very very cold in here oh, oh I'm so sorry so I bet nightmare. some people probably don't have like their <laughs> gloves right there yeah. either and I bet their hands are just mm -hmm. really really cold well at least you have restaurants I know I saw little kids with their big mittens oh, on. oh at least cute. there's restaurants <laughs> in a bathroom yeah. that's the best thing about being at the airport you got yes. restaurants in a bathroom all right thank you Shelby mm -hmm. Yeah, I was just checking um, flight aware. Like she said, just today alone, mm -hmm. over 200 cancellations oh. at um, at Bush, and I think I just checked Javi. It was uh, 19 mm -hmm. cancellations today so far. Yeah, that United ground stop really threw things yeah. into a tailspin yesterday. Mm -hmm.